Hey everybody, in this video we are going to cover how to assign a record to a queue inside of Flow. So I'm here in Salesforce and I'm looking up the setup screen. You can get here by pressing the gear icon and pressing setup. And I'm going to navigate to the Flow Builder by typing in flows and selecting flows from the process automation dropdown. I'm going to create a new flow. And this will be a record triggered flow. And I'm going to select create. The object that we're going to work with to demonstrate this concept will be a task. And we can just configure it for when the record is created and leave all the other conditions the same. I'm going to press done. And step one of looking up the queue in Salesforce is to add an element and then scroll down to the get records element and add that to the canvas. We'll call that find queue as the label and press tab and the API name will fill in automatically. And we are going to look for records of the group object in Salesforce. So there's a couple different group objects. You want to pick the one that says group. Um, it essentially says it twice. So both the label and the API name say group. You can select that. And then in the field section, you click once and then select developer name. And now we need to find the developer name of our queue. To do this, we'll leave the flow builder. We will search for queue in the setup menu and click queues under the user section. I've already created one queue here and we see that it's called the task queue. One important thing to know about this is that in order for this to work, the supported objects of your queue must include the object that you are either creating or reassigning. So this will work for us because we are reassigning to a task. Um, we are reassigning a task to a queue that supports tasks. So all we need to get from this queue is the developer name, which is also called the queue name. So you can highlight this, including the underscore, press control C and go back to your flow. Inside the flow, we will click the value section and just paste in that value so that the value here matches the name that we saw in the queue name. Back in our flow, we don't need to make any other changes to the get records. We'll just press done. I'm going to add another element to the flow and this will be an update. Because I'm firing this flow when a task is created, all I need to do is update the task. So I'm going to select update the triggering record. I'll label it update task. And because the radio button for use the task record that triggered the flow is selected, the only thing I need to add is the queue ID. So down at the bottom for field to update, I'm going to click the box and select owner ID. And then here I can click the value. I can select the find queue record single variable that we just defined previously. Click that once, scroll down and select ID. I'll press done and then I'll save my flow. I'm going to call this task reassign task to queue demo. I'll save that. And then activate it in Salesforce. Now that that's done, we just have to test it. So I'm going to go to the home page here. I'm going to go to an account and just open a recently viewed account. And I'm going to make a new task. So I'll call this test queue assignment. Due date can be today. I guess next week. And the key thing to note right here is that right now it's assigning to me. And when we save this, we would expect that our flow would run and update the owner. So I'll save that there. And we see that the task has been reassigned to the task queue. I'll click that open. Sure enough, the assigned to is the task queue. So to summarize what we learned, we learned how to reassign a record to a queue. The key items that we need are one, the name of the queue. Two, we need to make sure that the queue supports the object that we want to reassign. And then inside our flow, we look up the queue with a find or get records element using the queue name. 
and then we just reference the record that we found here in our update records. So if we're updating a task, we would reference that there, or opportunity account lead. We simply need to reference the owner ID field and the ID from the queue that we found. Hey guys, hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments what other flow videos you'd like to see, and make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. If you're interested in learning more about Salesforce Flows, make sure to check out my course on Udemy. There's a link in the description. It has over eight hours of in-depth Salesforce Flow tutorials designed to turn you into a flow ninja. With that said, have a great day.